Hi, thank you for your interest in Raised Reconstruction Kit. In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate the possibilities of this product and take a closer look at the assets. First of all, let's start with the main tool called BP Raised Rex Spline Generator. To start, just drag and drop the blueprint into the level and assign the road mesh. You are able to assign any mesh you want, like tires, barriers, fences and custom created meshes as well. Once you have assigned the mesh, you can start to move the points. To create a new section of road, just click and hold the Alt button and move the point. In order to match the landscape elevation with the road, you must assign a terrain actor in this input field and then click the Deform Landscape button. When you change the number in the fall of parameter, the deform area will be changed. If you see such artifacts after deformation, just use the landscape brush tools and smooth out these areas. To connect the start and end points together, click the closed loop button. And let's end up the landscape group with snap points to landscape button, the name which already says for itself. Under the debug tab you can find the show segment number button. If you turn it on, floating numbers will appear on each segment of the spline. This will help you once you will start adding the models of curves. Let's say we want to add curves in the second section of the road. Under the array elements you should find number 2 and assign the curve meshes in extra mesh input fields, just like we did before for roads. Next up, there is a field to change the Z offset of the spline, the switch buttons for casting shadows and collisions. It is also possible to change the types of spline points. Ok, so let's do some experiments with the spline generator tool. I'm going to try assigning different meshes to it. Now let's see what type of decorations we have in this pack. These are signs of distance. If you have watched the real races, you have probably noticed that they are placed before the each big turn. Here are some tents in different colors, which you can change with your own desired color. And here is the most important thing on race tricks, the portable toilet. This is the position panel or bar. It's actually that so big if you don't think so then scale down. There are four types of fences, two of these has skewer type of texture and others are with diamond type. The next one is metal barriers. That one has special start and end meshes which you can assign appropriately in the spline mesh input fields. This is the safety box and here are some safety cones. Let's see the start lights. To make it light up, there is a trick, it's enough to put a point light front of them.
For the next let's take a look at the tires. As you can see there are different variations. In this pack you will find custom made foliage. There are one spruce tree, three bushes and grass. To scatter them on the map we are going to use the foliage tools. To get a desired look make sure to turn on effect distance field lighting and effect dynamic indirect lighting. As you can see there are lots for the trees. For the grass let's set the density to 300. There are also flags with different textures for each country. If we use wind directional source in the scene then we may change the direction of wind for the flags. It's time to talk about landscape materials. Be sure to assign the MIRS Drake landscape material instance to the terrain. Once you have done that, switch into landscape painting tools to start adding different paint layers. There are four types of material layers, grass, dry grass, gravel and asphalt. You can change the textures and other settings for every paint layer. You can find parameters like tiling distance for every landscape layer. These settings helps to break the texture repetition when the camera goes too far. By enabling the procedural grass option, the engine will start to scatter the grass meshes only there where a grass layer has been painted. To change the grass density and many other settings, open the procedural grass from here.
On the road, we can vertex paint the wear and tire skid marks. In the MIRS Drake Asphalt Material Instance, there are options to tint the color, change the roughness value and many many parameters. Similar parameters are available for the borders. In the next few minutes, I will show you the material settings for various assets. In the decals folder you can find some decals such as skid marks, finish line, position marks, etc. Just drag and drop them to the scene and place where you want.
it's time to showcase the modular workflow for tribunes and pit stop buildings. Don't forget to enable Snap to Grid when working with modular elements. This will help you place them easily and avoid holes between the models. Please check out the demo map to see the finished results. I hope this video tutorial has helped you get started on your project. If there are questions, feel free to leave the comments or send your questions directly to my email. Please don't forget to leave a review if you have already purchased the product. Thanks for watching and see you soon.